Hello guys and welcome and Merry Christmas uh, here on James Bonnet Photography and Models. Welcome to part 2 of December 2016 Model Loft and also again Merry Christmas as of course it is Christmas Day here across the world. Uh, so not a lot different from last from part 1. Um, anything extra? which I do get today on Christmas I will show next month this month I'll, and today I was mainly wanting to show you two fantastic new models by Corgi Models uh, so this Christmas Day episode of, part of Model Loft is another model reviews um, and shout outs will return in the new year and, but I do wish all my subscribers and followers across YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and I will repeat that later in the show so let's have a look at these fantastic new models by Corgi they're in 150 scale and there's two of them would you believe We've got the limited edition Hawley's renowned Volvo FH4 in Eddie Stabart livery cab unit. And we've also got a very special model, which is also very big. We're celebrating 60 years of Corey, 1956 to 2016, anniversary limited edition. Volvo FH4 with Curtin Sauer trailer in Eddie Stobart livery and this one is special because it's a model of the Eddie lorry that's named after Scylla Black and the lorry it's itself was called Scylla and it was named at the 2015 Stobart Festival in Carlisle so we'll go back to the small one and we'll review that one first and then we'll review Scylla now as always with the 150 scale lorries your wing mirrors and that come in a separate bag so I'll keep that little bag separate and they also come with these little collector's cards there's only 1000 of these being made and mine is number 25 yep that's right number 25 of only 1000 so it probably doesn't mean a lot but uh, it does mean that Effectively, mine should be worth more because it's from an earlier run. It's in the first 100 lorries. So, wow, this is just fantastic! Wow, the level of detail in this. It's just a shame I can't get hold of the tech techno version, which is also out, but they're just ridiculously overpriced. Um, but yeah, wow. The wheels turn for the posable effect. It looks like it's probably leaning down a bit. That's probably due to the carpet. It's eddiestabart.com website. So this is one of the new lorries. Uh, and it's in the new livery as well. Which is also an added bonus. The name is Florence Isabella. It's a uh, fleet number is H4390 and its registration is KX65PHJ. I do believe I've seen this lorry on the road. Uh, the fleet number is very tiny on the side here, but everything else is just spot on. And wow, I, just, I must meet. I'm lost for words as you could probably hear. I just don't understand what's taken Corgi so long to produce this. When Oxford Diecast did the smaller version in half the time. Just doesn't make much sense to me. But just the attention to detail on the larger models though is a little bit more than on the little 176 scales. But the difference is the price. These are about 
range between 50 to 90 pounds whereas the others are 20 pounds so and these are a one-off gift probably the last 150 scale lorries I'll be buying unless I find them at a good uh, price under 40 pound at truck fest from a well-known dealer that I always buy off but who knows <laughs> right we've got good detailing of the petrol tank there and there's even a blue cap there for add blue so that's even more detail in there which is really nice but the air hoses are stuck to there for now but of course they can come down and you can add connect them into the corgi trailers like you can on them all one bit of detail that's missing is like the Eddie Stobart thingy there that says like Eddie Stobart Limited and a phone number but yeah, you can live without, without that and on the bottom here we've got number plate and some good detail of the lights there shame it's a lump of plastic but yeah very nice <clears throat> I really like this model and uh, these reviews are duplicated into the model review series 9 uh, series so uh, apologies if you're watching this in either or but you're watching exclusively here today on Christmas Day the first review if you're watching this as a repeat and not part of model reviews then it's between Christmas and New Year when it's gone online but that is model one brilliant model brilliant brilliant I really like that so on to Scylla so like the other one this one comes with the collector's card as well this one is in a different style again it's limited to a thousand models and it's an anniversary limited edition as well uh, it tells you a bit more about Eddie Stobart as they always do and this one is 821 of only a thousand so it's a slightly higher number it's in the last 200 lorries to be made but still very nice glad I've got my my version of it so as always as well it comes with a little bag with the uh, aerials and wing mirrors and that in so trailer first very nice trailer this is the weighty part of the model as well like it always is in the 150 scales very nice uh, I'm sure I've reviewed one of these before as well now it's where the air hoses um, connect into <coughs> oh dear I've got that cough back again just what you need on Christmas but oh uh, well, never mind guys, it's all good fun, I always come down with a cold on Christmas. But anyway, KX65OXF is the registration for Scylla. Uh, it's got one of the new style uh, trailer backs as well, because this is eddystowart.com, it's just plain, no cab wrap uh, stuff at all. Very nice. We'll put the trailer in the background. So onto the Scylla cab, it's the same as the other cab I've just reviewed, but this one is a H triple four zero named Scylla. I've just given you the registration onto the which was on the back of the trailer. As I said earlier, this was wrapped and unveiled as its name at the um, 2015 Fest up at Carlisle in the new distribution centre before they closed down the old depot. Um, is a tribute to Scylla Black who had died a few weeks beforehand and I've seen this lorry a couple of times now once at the Stowart Fest and then quite a few months later at Appleton Thorn Depot uh, so I've, I can say I've officially seen it properly seen it on the road I've seen it at a festival not the same as seeing it on the road but it, it still counts as a spot but I prefer to see them on the road but it basically the same detailing as the other one as I said there's a few little tweaks for in uh, uh, fleet detailing that's it <clears throat> again the air hoses are 
fastened up there hiding where you've got the Volvo imprint into the back of the cab you've got the add blue thing there uh, again that's the fuel tank as well Ooh, got a bit of uh, something on the tyre this one looks like a bit of the polystyrene when they were putting it in might have been still a bit warm melted to the tyre adds a little bit to it I think <laughs> underneath uh, this one I'm going to show you we've got brilliant detail like the exhaust and stuff like that coming out the drive shaft and the, the other tank there of course brilliant models I, I can't fault these actually brilliant models by Corgi but it's a change because last one I reviewed I was quite let down by standards were very poor for a model that cost quite a bit of money and very nice indeed I'm not going to hook the air hoses up because I never do but that concludes our little review here and sadly <coughs> oh, excuse me sadly our um, Christmas Day model loft episode um, again sorry very short no shout outs and that in this part I will be back in the new year Merry Christmas Happy New Year to all my subscribers and followers I'll see you soon and enjoy your um, festive period I'll see you in 2017